Okay, so Three Commas has some of the most powerful and customizable bots out there. But out of all the options they have, I'd say that their bread and butter is their DCA bot because you can set it up to do pretty much anything that you want. Now, I have made some videos about them in the past because they are our channel partner and sponsor. But what I want to do today is show you their new beta features for their DCA bot because I think that's a game changer and it really makes the whole process of setting up the bot exactly the way you want much, much easier. So let's dive right in. Okay, so here we are. I'm logged in to my three commas dashboard. And as you can see, I'm on a pro plan. Just FYI, if you watch this video and decide you want to try it out for yourself, then you can use my link below for a free trial and up to 50% off your first subscription. So of course there's things you need to do to get started like connect your exchange accounts. I'm not gonna run you through those because I've done so in prior videos, but it's also pretty self-explanatory. But what I wanna do is to show you the DCA bots new beta features. So how to turn it on is to go to settings and then right here, beta testing, flip on this DCA bot launcher. And then you can either press DCA bot or just start a new bot right here, DCA bot. And here you have it, here's the interface. Now there's a lot of different fields and conditions and settings that you can choose to basically get the bot to act or operate in exactly the way you want it to. But if you're a little bit confused about that or just don't know what exactly you want to do, then what you can do is go into presets on this top right and then copy a bot that someone else did. So basically you can filter by your exchange. I got Binance Spot, Market, I put USDT, Trading Pair. I like SWE lately because it's been doing quite well. So I searched specifically for SWE USDT. I did single pair just to keep it easy, but you can also do multi pair. I did long, and then you can just click into one of these. And then look, you can look at all the details of its performance over the past few weeks. And then you can just press start if you want to just copy as is, or you could press edit settings if you want to change a few settings that the bot has. So as you can see, now we're at SWE USDT, blah, blah, blah. That's the easiest thing to do, the quickest way to get started. But if you have a strategy in mind that you want this bot to do specifically, then you got to change these settings here on the left hand side. Now there is a classic view without the chart but I'm gonna stick with this advanced view because I like the visualization aspect of the chart. So you can start by naming your bot, my sweet bot, and then it's on Binance, long, single pair, SWE, and then I'm gonna stick with the profit currency and USDT. Now, one thing I wanna note is that if you're still confused after watching my video, then they have video tutorials that you can click here and it'll just pop up and you can watch it and it should help you more. Or if you're still confused after that, then they have help center articles that are really in depth. They'll walk you through every single setting, every single step. So I'll leave a link to those below in the description as well. If you need help with anything, let me just tell you, okay. The base order is the first order that the bot opens or like the trade that they execute when it begins. So let's just say I wanted to start with 50 USDT market orders so I don't have to wait. And then the cool part is this deal start condition. By default, it's open in a new trade immediately, but you could do so much more than that. Like if you have your own trading view custom signal, then you can connect it here or through API even, but that's a little bit more complicated. So I'm not going to show you that instead. Let's use RSI. We all know RSI. That's one of the most popular indicators out there. You can change the length, the time frame. Let's do an hour and condition less than 30. So basically, if this hits, then we will open an order. And then you can also add more conditions. Like if you want RSI and MACD, then you can do that. But let's just stick with RSI for now. Now, safety order is quite interesting okay so in the ideal world your bot opens the order at upon your conditions and then price goes up until your take profit and then it 
closes the order in profit and then it goes over and over again per your specifications. That's the ideal world though. But what happens if the price goes against you? Like the bot opens the order when RSI is 30 and then the price starts dropping more. Then that's where safety orders comes in. This is like, this helps you dollar cost average. Basically, if the price goes down, it buys more and adds to your position size, essentially. So you can customize this really in depth, like every time I want to add $15 more and when the price goes down minus 1%, that's when it starts doing it. Safety order count. And then you can scale it, like buy more and more as it drops more. And then the step scale as well. So some of these may be confusing as to what they mean, but you can first visualize this, like look, the low price of minus 3%. And if you change this to be like three, like it changes this on the chart that you can see straight up. But also what you can do is on this top right over here, you can click details and you'll see how these things change depending on how you change these things. Like now I change my max safety orders count and there's another safety order. And if you change the step scale, this changes. So you can play around with these and see straight up your entry order and then like minus 1%, the first safety order, minus 3%, the second safety order. And then you can also visualize it with its graph up here. And then you can also add a condition on top of that. So you can be like, okay, if the price drops, I potentially want to add a safety order, but I also want to make sure that the conditions are so that MACD is a certain value or RSI is a certain value, right? This is so much customizability and you can basically set up the bot to do exactly what you want. Now, take profit. This is where the good stuff comes in because we all want to be taking profit automatically with these bots. Now, you can set target profit, like let's say 1%, and then you can add additional one so there's 1% and 2% and each time it sells 50% of the like overall deal size. And then you can also set it to reinvest profit so that it goes back into the bot to use for future times, right? Because the bot doesn't stop unless you stop it, right? It just keeps on working with like, okay, RSI just hit 30 again, time to buy again. Okay, we just got 1% gain. It's time to take profit half of it. Right, it just keeps on doing that over and over unless you stop it. Now, this price change for take profit is a straightforward and simple way to do, but you can also do conditions. You can say, okay, when RSI is greater than 70, now that is when I wanna take profit. And then this is also very interesting, minimum profit, okay? Because the bot will take profit for you when RSI is greater than 70, but that doesn't mean that you are actually in profit unless you toggle this on. This is okay. We have to be at least in 1% of profit before we take profit at all, even with the indicator hitting. And then there's also stop losses. If the price goes against where your bot entered the deal at too much, then it will just close the thing and save you from further loss. So we can set like, let's say, see, now you see the stop loss minus 5%. So you can see it shows up in this chart. So it's a great way to visualize things. And one cool thing is to stop loss break even. Okay, so let's say that your bot entered the trade over here. And let me just make this in yellow and slightly thicker. And let's say your take profit level is over here, but the price has gone up. Now what this can do is move the stop loss for you automatically to where you entered so that at the very least you'll break even. So this is an incredibly useful feature to have. And then advanced right here, this is the last part. I don't really recommend doing too much here, but for example, if you're dealing with very illiquid coins, then you can set an amount of daily BTC volume to make sure that it has enough volume before you enter a deal for it. And then minimum price, like let's say Ethereum is at like $2,500 right now. 
You can say that if Ethereum is below $2,000, then I don't want you to enter any deals no matter what else settings I put up above, right? And then cooldown setting is if you don't want the bots to enter a deal too quickly after one was just closed, then you can put like, let's say 300 seconds. And yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. I hope this helped. Like I said, there is a lot of settings and conditions that you can play with depending on exactly what strategy that you have in mind. Let's say that you already do some strategy manually. You're like, okay, if RSI and MACD and all these other ones are at certain things, then that's my entry condition. That's when I manually go into my account and press buy. But now this bot can do all of that for you and capture all that logic in your head, but do it for you in an automatic manner so you don't have to do it manually anymore. And once again, if you have any questions, let me know. Check out the links in the description and please use my referral link for a free trial and up to 50% off your first subscription.